how do you think uh, the port city will or the commission will act in such a way that we will not uh, threaten these other superpowers especially because China is heavily involved and there is massive concern uh, we've looked hard as a commission at how this could possibly be a threat to anyone's security and quite frankly we haven't been able to find it yet because physically uh, we are part of Sri Lanka's national sovereign territory Therefore, thereby falling under all of the other laws that apply for protection, national interest, and national security. Economically, uh, if we pose a challenge or a threat, then I think that's a free and fair competition for us to engage in for national benefit. One little thing about the Chinese interest, okay. it is true, they are, their, in, their primary interest in the Port City Project is as, as an investor. So they have invested this money, it's not money the government has borrowed money has been pumped in by the Chinese as an investment that is expected to be recovered in terms of ROI uh, but the port city territory remains and always will be sovereign territory of Sri Lanka owned by the government of Sri Lanka. Uh, does this ma mean China will have no power whatsoever or jurisdiction over uh, the port city area? It will have no jurisdiction, but it will have some influence in how it disposes of the 99 or transfers. Mm -hmm. It has the right, the project company has the right to transfer the 99 year lease accorded to them by the government for the plots that are specified in, that ag in the agreement. Mm -hmm. So their recovery of investment is to transfer that lease to another party and to recover the cost Mm -hmm. from the commercial value and the government gets a small revenue as a royalty from that transaction but there, there's no ownership there's no sovereign right and there is absolutely no jurisdiction uh, d during the period of this 99 year uh, lease at contract. any time at all the Commission is well aware mm -hmm. and highly sensitive to these concerns but like I said before the the actual articulation of a specific concern mm -hmm is yet to be found. So we invite these parties, national and international, who have concerns to visit with the Commission. We will meet them happily as a team and address these concerns, or at least understand them first. Mm -hmm. But from our point of view, there is no bias, and we, we, we would like these concerns also to be based on fact and future action rather than on existing perception and bias. The Commission identifies that as one of its primary uh, strengths. The fact that it will, is, will, and must remain independent. Independent internally of political influence and independent externally of geopolitical influence. So from that point of view, what the, commissioners, the, commi the Commission's duty is to execute the project for national benefit under the purview of the Office of the President.